So we got some good news, bad news when it comes to Julian Assange here. It looks like he's not going to get extradited from the United Kingdom to the United States, which is a positive thing because bail immediately becomes something that can happen to him in the immediate future. But at the same time, he's also deteriorating mentally, apparently, at a rapid ass rate because he's not exactly in comfy conditions in the United Kingdom. He's in one of London's worst jails, apparently. That's what I've been reading and seeing as well. And uh, yeah, it would just be nice if he would just hurry up and get pardoned along with Edward Snowden, obviously. I think that's what everybody's kind of calling for at this point because he's a very important person and a lot of people who have been affected by what he's done with WikiLeaks have either gotten over it or are named Hillary Clinton, which, yeah you know what, kind of live without her at this point. The decision to block Julian Assange's extradition to the United States is unlikely to make him a free man anytime soon. Thanks, Bloomberg, for being fucking doomers on the point. To be completely fair, that's kind of accurate. Assange, who has spent the last decade in the United Kingdom's prison or stuck in Ecuador's embassy in London, won an important legal fight Monday when a judge ruled that he shouldn't be sent to the United States to face criminal charges, which is good. And just because he's over there still in UK jail doesn't mean that Donald Trump can't pardon him from there. It would just dispel any sort of those vast conspiracy theories that, oh, they're waiting to bring him back over in order for him to get proper coverage and help expose everybody out there who's those deep state actors yeah it's it's nothing that fucking sexy well his legal team prepares for a bail hearing wednesday prosecutors said they will fight his release as they appeal the decision dragging the process through the Brit- british courts for months or years and as we've seen i didn't cover it but uh, you guys might have been familiar with the rather public and it's not something that i tend to wade into but the johnny depp amber heard stuff where Johnny Depp was suing, I think, the son in the UK, saying that he was a wife beater, but the judge clearly, clearly had feelings for Amber Heard, whose testimony was one of the most transparent displays of contempt and bloated ego you are likely to ever see. But hey, the judge clearly felt that uh, Amber Heard was 100% true with everything that she was alleging, and Johnny Depp was just clearly somebody who was taking advantage of this poor, sweet, innocent girl who shit on his bed. So yeah, as nice as it would be for Assange to get bail on Wednesday, it's just as likely that this, this is going to get drug out forever and ever, but this can all just go away with a couple of pen strokes. This is not the end of the story, said Jess Vinder Nakwal, an extradition lawyer at Peters and Peters in London who wasn't involved in Assange's hearing. So he's just adding his expertise in the matter, I suppose. A 49-year-old initially took shelter in an Ecuadorian embassy in 2012 after he lost a UK Supreme Court appeal for his extradition to Sweden for questioning for questioning on rape allegations. While the Swedish case was later dropped, I was just about to mention that, but I figured they would anyways. Assange was booted out of the embassy in April of 2019 and arrested for skipping his UK bail at the same day the United States announced it was charging him with espionage for his role in releasing hundreds of thousands of pages of classified documents via WikiLeaks with the help of US and Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning previously known during the time that this crime was committed crime in very brief but quotation marks was bradley manning he is being held yes at london's belmarsh prison he has a very poor history that's all prosecutors need to say extradition lawyer daniel steinberg said referring to assange's breach of earlier bails prison authorities would consider him to be a flight risk i think anybody can reasonably assume that and that would be a very easy thing to assert at the bail hearing so the decision by the london judge vanessa barrister based on fears that he might commit suicide in the united states jail came to a came as a surprise to most no i i don't think most people who'd be following his case would find that to be very surprising He's in a really shitty jail right now, and he's facing a very, very long prison term, so he might just look to Epstein for inspiration. Because they do have several friends in common. In the weeks before his hearing, his supporters put more faith in a presidential pardon than on winning the case. Yes, even Assange's fiance Stella Morris, said she had to rewrite her speech in light of the decision. Morris has spent the last few months making direct pleas for clemency to President Donald Trump via Twitter and appearances on Fox News. And a lot of people are actually coming out in support of him. I just went back and took a look at the people who've been advocating for him in the recent weeks. And we got good old Sarah Palin from up there in Alaska saying, oh boy, you should just go ahead and give that guy a pardon now. 
Wow. And yeah, I didn't realize that she actually had documents leaked on her as well. And I know we WikiLeaks went back a long, long, long time. But um, yeah, I was unaware of this. Perhaps a little bit of my ignorance, but that's been corrected right now. Julian Assange has an unlikely new defender, Sarah Palin, one of his best-known victims. Uh, okay, I guess I'm just an asshole. I am w uh, first one to admit when I make a mistake, former Alaska governor said in a two-minute video posted on YouTube Saturday. And something else I'd just like to point out, this is a total sidebar, but while I'm thinking about it, I really think, depending on what happens, potentially Wednesday or 10 days from Wednesday, I think that Palin's going to re-enter public life one way or another, either by primarying out somebody in the Senate. I think that's highly likely, to be completely honest, if she wants to jump back into it, because she's very much been on the populist bandwagon, and uh, she's just been sitting it out. I think that she might be waiting for Murkowski to be coming up for re-election, and I'm not too sure, but I will just check it out here. Ah, uh, yes, Murkowski would be up in 2022 in the midterm, so I'm just going to throw out that prediction. I'm sure I'm not the first person person to be asserting that as well, but do expect that to be coming up here in the next about uh, 18 months or so. WikiLeaks, the website, going back to the original story anyway, sorry about that sidebar, but I think some of you guys might uh, agree with that as well. WikiLeaks, the website Julian Assange, ran to disseminate purloined data, posted family photos, private messages, and government emails hacked from Palin's Yahoo.com account in 2008. Okay, that's a little bit more forgivable that somebody was using a Yahoo.com email address in 2008. Fuck, I was using a Hotmail account for the better part of, oh my god, who knows, and I set up when I was in fucking fourth or fifth grade, for Christ's sakes. Weeks after Senator John McCain named her as vice presidential running mate. Ugh, the second story in a row where John McCain's gonna come up. I hate this. John McCain sucks. Remember, he conspired with the Viet Cong and people who tricked him into thinking that they were the Prime Minister of Russia and also promoted the Steele dossier. You know, the report that said that Trump hired a couple of hookers to piss on a fucking bed or something. I made a mistake some years ago not supporting Assange, and I think... Oh, thinking that he was a bad guy, Palin continued in the clip, and I've learned a lot since then. He deserves a pardon. The conservative favorite went on to praise Assange for what he has done in the name of real journalism, and he's getting to the bottom of issues that the public really needs to hear about and benefit from. Yeah, and 12 years ago, when she was, you know, trying to suck up to the neocon that uh, appointed her, not unlike what Kamala Harris is trying to do, actually kind of a little bit different because Kamala Harris is trying to push her stupid policies on Joe Biden. And because he is, for all intents and purposes, just fucking water and kind of conforms to whatever shape he's poured into. Palin was trying to do, do the exact same for John McCain, who is the rhino in chief, even from the grave, he is still being brought up because his stupid wife, who he also referred to, McCain did, as a malignant cunt. Please do not forget that fact. Ah, uh, McCain is just a terrible person anyways. I lost my train of thought anyways. Who gives a shit? He's a terrible human being, and at least, you know what? One half of that ticket has redeemed themselves and uh, does that fairly often now, so. Not as stupid as people like to make her out at the time, and if I had a YouTube page in 2008, I may or may not have been pointing that out at the time, but who knows? Who knows, we can't go 13 years into the past and just drive up old accusations on a daily basis. Oh, do you know that uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump were good friends? Shit like that that's easily debunked. But yeah, like the original Bloomberg article that we were referencing there earlier, uh, they were saying a little further down there, yeah, Joe Biden, it's like unclear if he's going to be taking up the case. We know the fact that anybody who would leak certain information and has a very good track record of doing it very, very well uh, would definitely not be high on the pardon list for Joe Biden. That would be a dead, gone opportunity in order to get pardoned for either Assange or Snowden, and uh, Trump really is the last person, okay? Whether they get pardoned, hopefully very, very shortly, because apparently the, uh, you only got until January 20th, when inauguration date is, which uh, I don't know how liquid that date is. It's apparently constitutionally enshrined, but as we've seen in the past few weeks, the Constitution is merely just something that you can use at your own leisure in order to enforce the rules that you want to. But what I'm saying, and I think you guys can probably pick, on this or f pick up on this from earlier, in the video here is that uh, I very much think that Assange and Snowden need to be pardoned. Uh, uh, Snowden's claims can be more expanded on in a different video as well, but I'll just give you the 50,000 foot view on that one. Uh, he exposed the Obama administration's NSA for tapping into everything from your cell phones and emails to your smart TVs being off but still recording your data and probably a smart toilet here and there. 
literally the NSA had everything. Snowden made that public because he's seen, oh geez, uh, the public should probably know about this and made the call to leak that information. And now he's over in Russia, I do believe still out there. Nobody quite knows his location, but yeah, he did exactly what Julian Assange with WikiLeaks was doing. He just did it with the more precise. Here's what I knew because I had firsthand information at the NSA. So they both deserve it. And I think Trump's probably been bombarded by this. It's probably one of the high points, high up there, at least on the list of things that Trump gets bombarded with every day by his supporters. Not, you can never really account for what his detractors constantly tell him, but this is something that a lot of people are trying to convince him of. Like Rand Paul, who's been very right about a lot of stuff lately. He's wrote an opinion piece for the Federalist. He's been loud on every network news show that he's ever been invited to. He got his wife, pretty much every Twitter lawyer that uh, is an originalist or I guess on the right, just to make it a little bit more colloquial. Posobic Cernovich, who I ugh, like occasionally. He's kind of a black pillar, guys. And a bunch of other people on the left as well. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure Grant Glenn Greenwald's behind that. I don't really know where he stands anymore. It's tough to tell based on his old community because they just slander him as just being a conspiracy theorist by saying that uh, Joe Biden may or may not have won this election uh, uh, on the up and up. So, no, I'd really love to see it happen because I don't want to see him waste away in jail when he can be doing a bunch of great stuff. And hey, if he can if he can find some shit that went fucking sideways, even on Trump or just on the past four years out there, if he can release that up, that would be great. I don't know what's out there. Most of the stuff that we've been leaked in the past four years since he's been in embassy and in jail uh, hasn't amounted to much. Uh, Russiagate, the Steele dossier like I was talking about, uh, impeachment when Nancy Pelosi wouldn't show you the evidence, just kind of like what Raffsenberger's doing with all that stuff, but that was an almost hour-long video breaking that shit down as well. It would be nice to just have a voice out there of somebody who's professional and has done that and realistically has done something, okay, maybe criminally wrong, maybe he violated some laws, but at the same time, what he did was a lot better for the public interest and everybody on both sides has agreed to that at one point or another. As we've seen with Sarah Palin, she's at least turned the other cheek on this one, but uh, yeah, because Trump has been thinking about it, lefties out there, or at least left Twitter sphere has kind of turn the other cheek as well just like how they're kind of pro-war now whatever who could possibly keep up with what their fucking thought patterns are and i am not going to attempt to do that i am just going to attempt to find the stories that i find interesting report on them and let you guys know what the hot takes are out there and hopefully dispel them for you and yeah that pretty much covers what we got on julian assange apparently he's supposed to have a bail hearing wednesday in the uk hopefully if things at home or at least on the home front here in washington don't get too crazy and uh, ooh, it's looking like it could get crazy on wednesday so we will be following up on this depending on how his bail hearing goes and hopefully the outcome of that is not necessary because a pardon will be in the mail anyways guys i thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo I want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone